Friends, uh, we'll talk about the second variant of the CSMA carrier sense multiple access, and the second variant is the CSMA CA or carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance. Friends, the CSMA builds on top of CSMA CD, and it actually makes the system more efficient by using three different strategies. The first strategy is interframe space by the introduction of a concept called interframe space. The second one is the contention window, and the third one is by the use of acknowledgement. Uh, students, slide pitch and we'll, we'll look at uh, the flow of, of how things work in the case of CSMA CA. Students, in this case, as you can see, we start our transmission, and in this particular case, the station has, uh, a particular station has a frame to send, and this is our attempt number one. Students, it checks if the channel is free, and as I, as I told you, this check throughout CSMA is continuous. There is a loop out here. Students, um, once the channel is found free, it then waits for a particular amount of time, which is called as interframe space. Of students, this interframe space is when the, when the channel, it actually checks the medium. And if, let's suppose the medium is found idle, the station, after um, finding the medium idle, waits for a fixed amount of time, which is equal to this IFS. Students, go ki Although the medium is idle, and if the station wants, it can actually send the data immediately. It waits for an additional period of IFS, equal to IFS, interframe space, before it sends. Students, this interframe space, it allows um, us to further avoid collisions because it, is, it allows a distant station, a different station that, has, that may have already started the transmission for that station's frame to get to the destination before uh, every particular station starts transmitting. So after the IFS, the system checks the particular medium again. And if it still finds that particular medium idle, then it starts the transmission. So students, this is a new thing that we have introduced in the case of CSMA CA. Um, students, in, in addition to our technique that allows us to avoid collisions, uh, IFS is also used to allocate prior, prior, priority in our uh, local area networks which use CSMA CA. And, and if a particular station has got a lower IFS or a small IFS, that essentially means that it has got a higher priority uh, for transmission as well. Students, after that, we go into uh, an, another additional inclusion for CSMA CA, which is the contention window. Students, this contention window is nothing but an amount of time uh, that we have got divided into slots. So we are just dividing our time into slots in this particular case. Students, um, the, the station which has got data to send, what it does is it actually chooses a random number of slot as, as its wait time. Students, this number of slots in this window, slots make up a window, and that's why this is called contention window. Uh, the number of slots in this window, it changes um, according to the binary back off strategy. So every single time that um, you know a station is, is, has actually chosen a number of uh, slots, and that particular station will double this number of slots every time um, you know, the station checks and cannot find an idle channel. So every time the channel is busy, once the station has checked, it will double this number of slots um, as well. And, and there is a logic behind this as well. And students, last but not the least, we actually work with um, acknowledgement out here. And the system waits for an acknowledgement before it times out. Um, or it actually um, decides that the transmission is successful. So the three different techniques that we have used on multiple occasions, we use the IFS out here as well, which we use in CSMA, CA.